Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, aka Nerd and Proud of It, and Destiny has brought you to this channel to watch this video today. The video about me getting a little bit drunk and buying a lot of unlimited alpha, beta, and uh, a pile of antiquities cards. I honestly hope you had a great weekend so far, and I really hope for you the rest of your Sunday will be awesome as well. We are gonna pick up where we left in the last video. Uh, we had a look at the green, the black, the white, uh, the blue unlimited cards. And now we're gonna pick up with the red unlimited cards. If you are not subscribed yet, please do let me know what you th uh, think about the video. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. That would be awesome. I really would appreciate that. So we're gonna dive right into it. The red cards, I mean, have a look at this beautiful fire elemental. Goblin Balloon Brigade, very iconic card. One red, one one goblin, but you can give them flying. Um, I think these kind of cards are just uh, iconic and underrated. Orcish artillery, really cool artwork. A stone giant, man. <laughs> I know people who played with that. Ah, oh, Jesus. All, of, all the walls. I mean, uh, the, the Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, Revised uh, walls are... Some of them are really iconic. Disintegrate. <laughs> this one This one is actually real, not like the Rebec you see up in the corner there. Uh, we talked about that a lot. Uh, picked up two of those. Uh, last two they had. Fireball as well. I picked up a couple. I think these cards, I can always use them in some cool old school fun decks. And yeah, how, how cool is it to have an unlimited fireball in there? I actually got seven of them. And I think they were like, I don't know, a buck a piece or something. Yeah. I mean, it's a fireball. It has been reprinted more than 20 times. But uh, unlimited fireballs are getting more rare. Uh, I, I believe that. I believe all the old cards are getting more and more rare. So, yeah. That's why that's why I picked these up as well. False orders. Somehow that artwork does something for me. Really like it. Uh, I That's one of those cards I haven't seen around back in the day a lot. Neither. I know it's not worth a lot. But somehow it seems very rare to me. And I even have the impression that it's like an uh, uh, like a reserve list card. Kelden Warlord. Best artwork uh, ever. <laughs> I mean, one of those old fantasy artworks uh, that just uh, hit you in the face. Uh, such Such an iconic card. Yeah, uh, the red ones didn't contain a lot of rares. Apparently the red rares are uh, very expensive. Uh, Sheevan Dragon, uh, Mana Flare, these kind of things. So uh, where the other uh, piles had rares, the red uh, cards uh, don't have rares. I have to have a look. This, for example, I mean, uh, with the artifacts, the Helm of uh, Katsuk, uh, is that how you pronounce it? This is actually rare. Not a good card, but it's rare. Um, don't expect any moxes or anything in here. I mean, this is just a pile of older artifacts. Um, jade uh, statue or jade monolith uh, it is, yes. Um, I think, I, I always thought this card was reserve list as well, but I don't think it is. Living Wall, one of my first artifact cards I got out of a revised booster. Colmus Bell, actually not a bad card. Uh, rare as well. Uh, all, the, all the swims are 1-1 one, one creatures. Obsidian Golem. Yeah, uh, 6 for 4-6 four, is nothing nowadays, but uh, back in the day that was a thing. Soulnet, I think the artwork is just really, really cool. And these kind of cards, I mean, yeah. Hey, this one. This one was one of my first rares. Uh, if not even the first rare uh, I got in a booster. Uh, at least uh, within the first few boosters. I think the first rare I got in the booster was a different one. I have to think about it. But the Hive actually uh, is one of those cards I played in uh, my deck for a long time. Because it was... Uh, it was giving me flyers, and it's ridiculously expensive, but okay. Um, moving on. I also bought a pile of Antiquities cards. These are a bit more rough. Uh, I think that's why they weren't that expensive. Just to recap, if you haven't seen the first video, check it out. I got a little drunk on good whiskey on a Saturday night, and I bought a lot of cards, more than 180 cards in total. So yeah, not a lot of black cards. Uh, I think uh, antiquities and black cards, uh, there are uh, some in there that are quite expensive. That's why I probably haven't picked up a lot of black cards. 
The artifacts actually weren't that expensive, I think, uh, because of uh, the fact that they're not really playable well. At least most of them are. Look at the uh, rocket launcher. It's it's just such a cool, cool card. The artwork is amazing. <laughs> the orc, or, yeah, it's an orc. I don't think it's a goblin. The orc uh, that is uh, shooting something. Cursed Wreck, uh, very cool card. Ornithopter, I mean, an original... Uh, Antiquities Ornithopter, which uh, costs zero, and uh, you put uh, it in a black deck, and you put a unholy strength on there, and uh, yeah, you have a really cool two-two flyer in the first round. Um, you could do that as well with Dark Ritual Hypnotic Spectre, of course, but yeah, this this was pretty cool. Yeah, all all those weird artifacts you see here. I mean. Tron lands, those are actually pretty expensive. That's why I only got two. Uh, I try to uh, stay under 10 bucks a card. Uh, yeah, Circle of Protection artifacts. The artwork is amazing, I think. It, it's a very cool card. Argivian I, I Blacksmith, I would rather have the Archaeologist, but uh, yeah, a play set of Blacksmiths, I think this was like a buck a piece or whatever i mean uh, if you buy one booster or you buy a couple of antiquities cards then i rather go for the antiquities cards no i try to stay under 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 a certain uh, amount for every card and i think i filtered on like 10 bucks and i just hit add to card and i got every different card i i, I could get my hands on and some of them are in very good shape and some of them are in a bit more rough shape but i i yeah, I got nostalgic, uh, and I really wanted to have those. Artifact Blast, I think, uh, yeah, it's a it's a red counter spell. Uh, actually, an interrupt doesn't exist anymore. Counters any artifact as long as it's cast. Uh, so, um, as long as this is being cast. So, yeah, once once uh, it comes into play. Um, pretty cool against old school decks. Uh, so, I got a play set. Artok, very iconic. Archic, uh, or Orcish me mechanics and one blue card, and I think that's because as well uh, that the uh, because of the fact uh, as well that the blue cards, same as the black cards, are pretty expensive. I got a lot of old um, blue antiquities cards, like I got a p couple of power artifacts and and these kind of things. But uh, yeah, uh, not a lot of blue cards to, uh, within to 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 find within the cheap ones. Crumbles. Play set, destroy target artifact, actually as an instant green. Uh, actually not bad, again, against old school decks, which feature a lot of artifacts. Uh, how cool is it to have four, uh, four old crumbles in there? I really, really wanted to get some uh, millstones for a deck, but uh, those are very difficult to find. Okay, here we actually got a couple of beta cards. Uh, War Mammoth, obviously, is not a very, very expensive card. Uh, and not super iconic, but it was like five bucks, and I mean five bucks for a beta card. Uh, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't let that go. Unsummons, um, you have seen. I bought a, an alpha unsummon, which I used to compare uh, to the reback disintegrate you see here uh, on the right in in, in the picture. Uh, I bought two beta unsummons as well. Uh, I um, yeah, uh, really like the card. Um, Fire breathing. I mean, uh, it's it's just the colors. Colors are so rich, and 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 red cards look so cool with the black border. Merfolk. One of my first decks uh, was with Lord of Atlantis. A couple of Merfolks. Uh, I had to get one in beta. Uh, Power sink. I think that was like eight bucks or something. I don't know. I have to look it up. But yeah, uh, I mean, you can even use it in a deck here and there. Fear, very iconic artwork, I think. A uh, couple of bucks. Stream of Life as well. So the beta cards, uh, they are getting more and more expensive as well. So I, I, I just looked through and th saw a couple of cheap cards and I got them. And these ones I'm actually really happy about. These ones were a little more expensive because they have a high playability, in my opinion. Uh, the Spell Blast is an excellent card if you play old school um, because of the one mana. You can counter a Mox for one blue mana. You can counter an Ancestral Recall for two mana, one blue, one colorless. I got a playset of these and I think that playset all in all was about 60 bucks. So I'm really happy with those Spell Blasts. I mean, uh, even if you counter a, a counter spell or mana drain, it's like three mana. Uh, so yeah. 
a very underestimated card with a lot of uses in my opinion especially in old school where everything is very low cost so i'm really happy with the with the spell blasts okay the alpha cards yeah alpha very very expensive even those even though these are commons I mean, for one unsummon, you have to uh, think about like 70 bucks. That's that's one common unsummon. And for the fog, I think it was like about 40 bucks. But uh, yeah, the play sets of unsummon, like two beta, two alpha unsummons is uh, really cool, I think. But if you look at it, I've been playing since 1994. I got one alpha card, one and nothing more and i have a lot of old cards but alpha i have exactly one card and i purposely purchased that card back in the day because i really loved the artwork and i wanted to have one version of the card of every uh, set so that actually shows how rare these alpha cards are so yeah i i don't mind i i picked up a couple i'm uh sad that this uh, disintegrate is uh is a reback but i have actually the opportunity to bring it back and i already uh reserved uh, another alpha card of roughly the same value simply to have a couple of alpha cards in my collection all right folks that was the buy that was the drunk buy um, there's a reserve list by <laughs> which which I consciously made coming up soon. I am going to pick that up on Monday when I bring back the uh, Disintegrate. I'm going to pick up a couple of uh, medium tier reserve list cards at the shop as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, both of the videos. If you haven't seen part one, make sure to check that one out as well. Let me know if I've been crazy uh, and if I have been uh, paying too much. I haven't even told you what I paid. Uh, yeah, for all these cards, uh, more than 180 cards, um, the Unlimited, the Alpha, the Beta, the Antiquities, all these cards I paid 1350 euros so yeah let me know if you think I overpaid uh, I'm crazy that I pay a lot of money for old commons uncommons a couple of rares old antiquity commons whatever um, I personally uh, personally uh, think that uh, a lot of these cards are gonna go up in value and I'm not buying them because they're gonna go up in value I simply buying them because I think if I want to have them in like two three years uh, they probably won't be available anymore for a reasonable price. That's that's what I hear a lot of people say. Like, yeah, Rudy says that a lot, and I think Moxman said it as well. These pieces, these cards are going to be museum-like quality pieces. So, yeah, uh, again, I've been playing for more than, uh, yeah, for almost 30 years, and I have one alpha card. So, and now I bought a couple just to have a couple, just to have that history in my collection um it's it's going to be more and more difficult to find these cards i hope you enjoy the rest of your sunday i hope you enjoyed this uh, this video please uh, leave me a comment uh, hit the like button that uh, that would help a lot in uh, getting uh, further in the algorithm in the meanwhile as always folks stay frosty stay healthy and talk to you next time bye folks bye